What's up guys? Welcome to Anime Kahai. If you'd like to help me out, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. The relationship would not go well if this act of strength continued. This type of situation is a true dragon relationship, correct? That is irrelevant, though. Velzard San, I don't want to make you sound like a stranger, but Veldora doesn't like you very much. Oh, why? To put it simply, you're doing too much. He should learn right from wrong on his own by you showing him what to do, not by being forced to listen to you. If we speak to Veldora, he will even know the difference between right and wrong. So could we kindly refrain from using violence and simply express our feelings? I made Velzard San an offer to spend the night if she desired. Velzard San sighed and nodded her head after a brief pause. Good. She seemed to have given my suggestion some thought. Rimuru. Well done, master. Let me go, please, and hurry quickly. I see. I don't think I've ever heard Vildora Chan's thoughts, actually. Let's discuss it now that we have the chance. They must still be speaking slowly, I suppose. All right, I get it. Please exercise mercy. Veldora appeared to have calmed down and was now thinking. This should help to heal the conflict between the two siblings. This time, Veldora proceeded to the subsequent room without objecting. But Ramirez was still in his hand, and I would act like I didn't see it. Hey, hold on. I'm really not involved in this at all. When the door to the room closed, I believed I heard a voice like that, but I was unable to hear it anymore. I decided that I had just made it up, so I turned to Guy, who was still there. The room was suddenly quiet after the boisterous Veldora gang had left. So then. He murmured. I swallowed and awaited his subsequent remarks. Velzard appears to want to unwind, so I suppose I'll remain here for the day. Okay, I'll get a room ready for the three of you, so don't worry. Why are we three together? Well, because you're returning home, isn't that right? In the hopes that he would leave, I asked him. My hopes, nevertheless, were disappointed. Don't be a moron. We are close pals, you and I. I'll look after you today. It's time to move forward with Misery and Rain's evolution, I could read it in his eyes. Guy should receive what he deserves. No, no, next time I'd prefer to provide you the best hospitality. Thus, for today. You said you had spare rooms earlier, correct? Any available room will do since I'm ready to put up with a little bit. Additionally, I'd like to try the tempura you mentioned. I lost. Now that he has said all of this, it is impossible to refuse. Better to merely reveal one of the crucial secrets in my possession than to refuse and cause resentment. Okay, I'll then set up the best room I have. I'll make tempura like you requested for dinner, too. I gave a head nod as I turned to face Shuna. Understood. I will then have it ready for you. Shuna nodded in agreement, grinned, and then walked out of the room. Instead, Haruna-san entered the room and remained motionless in a room corner. The airiness and unobtrusiveness of Haruna-san matched that of a trained maid. She appeared to be a first-class maid because Misery and Rain both showed signs of being impressed. Guy appeared to be really happy with his victory over me. Diablo, who had been quiet up until that point, then started speaking. <laughs> I see. So, Guy, you'll be staying the night? True, but... I see. So I suppose we have plenty of time. What are you talking about? No, that's nothing. I simply figured it would be just perfect. Just perfect? What are you saying? I'd like to follow up on a lot of what we discussed before, and I know you've been bragging about your ultimate skill for a while now. I want to ask you a specific question about it today. Ooh. Diablo, nice job. Now that the tables are turned, Guy is in trouble. I couldn't let this opportunity slip by. Then Diablo, take Guy to the inner parlor. You two can converse for the remainder of the day. I sincerely appreciate that, Rimuru-sama. I have no other way to thank you for your generosity. While saying this, Diablo put a hand on Guy's shoulder. Oh wait, wait, wait. Enough waiting, let's go. When he was assaulted in this manner, Guy was unexpectedly frail. After that, Diablo quickly took him away without giving any other hint of his whereabouts. Diablo proved to be very helpful in unforeseen circumstances. I could use my power without worrying now that Guy was gone. I needed to complete the ritual as soon as possible because I didn't know when he would return. I gave the souls to Misery and Rain right away, which caused them to evolve. Notice, 100,000 souls were needed, and they have been obtained. Individual Misery has begun to evolve. Hmm? That is weird. Guy had given me 500,000 souls. Notice, Individual Rain has begun to evolve. Success. There were 200,000 souls used in total. Huh? Does that imply that as long as they meet the requirements, I can evolve them even if we don't share a soul connection? Hey, before we got to that, there were more queries. Did you mean that there were 300,000 extra? Answer. 
Less souls than anticipated were required thanks to procedural mastery. It's absolutely not like that, though, is it? You can't possibly use that justification now that you have so many souls. Answer. It is important, taking into account the demands for the three individuals Testarossa, Ultima, and Carrera. What did you just do? You're so careless, Wisdom King Raphael San. Fearless. In fact, it misled Demon Lord Guy Crimson. No, hold on. Therefore, if he learns about this, I will be the one to take the hit. Answer. No problem. No, there are numerous problems. I now believe you to be a little too frightening. The fearless frighten me because of this. No. It's only that the level of proficiency in manipulating information particles was more than anticipated. The surplus is regarded as a reward. Is that acceptable? Even though it's a stretch, this is more terrifying than defrauding the Yakuza. I wouldn't have time to whine if he found out. I'd be dead before I could say anything. I couldn't stop shaking and perspiring even though I didn't show it on my face. I haven't felt this grateful about being a slime in a very long time. We had a feast that evening. Despite seeming displeased, Guy never voiced his complaints to me. On the contrary, he even expressed gratitude to me. There's a lot I want to say today, but I'm already tired. I want to thank you because it appears that the evolution was successful. He appeared to be really exhausted. I'm curious why. Diablo seemed much more animated than Guy. That's odd. You're welcome, no problem. It was better to stay out of it. I pretended not to notice and avoided bringing up the matter. He appeared to be satisfied with the meal, and the hot spring seemed to have put them in a good spirits as well. After speaking with Veldora, Velzard was also in a good mood. I'll be back. I'll try my best to keep you entertained then. I'm excited about it. Our country is frigid, thus the hot springs are really comforting. I'm happy you enjoyed it. I'm excited to meet you again. You talk well, I noticed. I'm hoping to see you and Veldora Chan again, and the next time I visit, I'll make sure to take my time. However, the aforementioned Veldora was not present. He appeared to have engaged Velzard in a brief battle inside the labyrinth and was now severely injured and immobile. <laughs> tell her that the next time I won't be merciful because I was gentle with her this time. Is it really okay if I tell her that? I was gracious enough to disregard his justification, which he made in a hushed voice. However, Velzard San didn't appear to have engaged in a severe battle, so I assume he would recover from that kind of injury in a few days. On the other side, seeing Veldora hurt for the first time reminded me of the power of the existence of true dragons. There was a second sister of Veldora in the Empire. To come up with a good countermeasure, I decided to ask Wisdom King Raphael San to teach me information on true dragon battles later on. Guy and his companions departed for home after leaving some helpful information behind. Referring back to the material, we would continue our conversation about the future plans. I was so fired up when someone hurried over to me. It's Muir Miles. Oh Rimuru-sama, you are there. I've been trying to find you. Why are you in such a rush? What's up? If time is of the essence, I can move quickly. Here is my older sister. She requests that I contact Rimuru-sama. Big sister is here? Surprised, I hurried outside to greet them. The big sister always went to the same hotel when she visited, which was located in the first-class section of the city. Big sister was a code phrase that only Muir Miles and I understood. That's correct, we only referred to her as sister, because calling her by name directly would have caused some issues. Of course, Elmija el Rusarian, the ruler of the sorcerer's dynasty of Sarian, was that person. She also went by the name, El, from our conspiracy trio. My alias was Rimu. Muir Miles Kunz was Gar. Elmija San was El. El was at the top of the hierarchy, and I was second. Gar was the third, and we were all eagerly entangled in some issues. El had summoned me, so I had no choice but to go right away. But she should have understood it was wartime. A battle is currently raging in our country. I told her, of course. She even stated that she would return after everything had calmed down. Compared to me, Muir Miles Kuhn spent a lot more time with Elmija San. He had been handling negotiations with Elmija San on my behalf while I was too busy. This was both the front and rear. The formal diplomatic ties with the sorcerer's dynasty of Sarian were what I meant by the front. Muir Miles Kuhn and Rigard handled everything, and I played no part in it. The development of the logistics and building plans, the setting up of tariffs and other rights, as well as the safety of each other's visitors and merchants, were all considered. The process was repeated several times until mutually agreeable agreements were reached. They put in a lot of effort and did so without moaning over the lengthy bargaining process. On the other hand, the second aspect of our relationship, the back, concerned our sinister activities, which the conspiracy trio of us excelled at. 
Although it may sound unpleasant, the information was accurate. What, exactly, were our more sinister acts? It was our intention to seize control of the newly formed massive economic circle. The three of us had only been drinking companions at first. But soon after, we started talking about commercial issues, and before we realized it, we were even talking about critical national management issues. It was my fault for being so careless with my remarks, but Muirmiles Kuhn was equally to blame for not stopping us. Aside from that, Elmija San also shared a lot of secrets with us, so it wasn't just us who were at fault. We had to be on our guard at all times. The three of us attributed everything to the drink. Naturally, this relationship was kept a secret. Something just the three of us know. Absolutely. If anyone learned that we had been conversing in this manner, they would be furious with us. Everyone would be secretly pressuring me, and Muirmiles Kuhn would likely be held accountable to the point of having his stomach torn apart. Elalude and the others would probably make fun of Elmija San, too. Because of this, the three of us were incredibly united. We had developed a bond as a conspiracy trio that went beyond our differences in opinion. When we won the war against the Rosso family, our friendship began in earnest. The underground networks that supported the Western nations were collapsing at the same time the Rosso family was on the decline. They started to resemble a rivalry of rivalries because there was no one to coordinate them. I had instructed Testarossa to keep security, so there was not a great deal of confusion, but the issue could not be left unchecked. They were only permitted to assist covertly when the police, or rather, the military, of each nation were unable to control the situation. How to handle the criminals was the issue. Because of the retribution from the criminal organizations, the military of each nation was unable to handle them. Local lords were even the leaders of criminal groups in some circumstances, and they were afraid to expose their crimes to the public. It goes without saying that the crimes must be stopped, but if they are, civil war may result. The state was powerless to intervene because of dread of such an occurrence. There were numerous instances where the state was forced to permit the crimes. I was concerned about this, so I went to Elmija San, a frequent guest at the hotel, and voiced my concerns. That's it for this video guys. Thank you for always watching my videos and supporting my channel. A big thanks to the Anime Kahai patrons who made this video possible. Jared Bressler, Chad Vota, Ray Perez, Chris Guzman, Havox, Speed Saber, James Waters, Arigit Das, Curtis Loban, Judah Herrera, Just a Guy, Missa L.W. Hernandez, Benjamin Villar, Zach Rosan, Byron, Jason Martin, Donald Williams, Moab A, Day of Light, John M, John Charles, Godman Gaming, Akon Engok, Markithian Tidwell, Andre L. Hamilton, Adrian, Kumo, Sankas Chalu, Tibu, Bush, John L, Masiage Besaraba, Tojam, Edgar Fuentes, JV, Dirty Old Hobo, Gonse Direco, Thomas, J, Christ, Juan Ignacio, Joshua Cousins, Jose Hernandez, Vethelny, Lunel Scarlet, Khaled, Christian Deshazer, Cal Robs, Divine C. Harris, Destiny Smith, Panda Cats, Aaron Alarcon, DeAndre Nance, Monty Boy 98, D-Man, Wise Viking, Ruben, Luis Caro, Yuki Iki, Pedro Robles, Chris Jr., Isaac, Shadow Wolf 660, Koala King 93, Devon, Little 95, Coyote de Peza, Quilly Buckner, Zephyrus, Alver, Normal Defeat, Joshua Andrade, Jaya Keshav, L, Gary Miles, Nobody0034, Dragon Spawn 666, Alex Gomez, J Rule, Sayonari, Alfredo Interia, Liel Tiram, Liron Sankap, Eric Tass, Christopher Mash, Edward Garcia, Ekotsky, Srinanduri, Foolish Prophets, Ethan Madison, Louis Strutter, Charles Bailey, Funky Junkie 22, Sky T, Diego Ginoza, Nick H, Andre Hamilton, Jason Torres, Sesh, Guy Ansley, Simon Road, Emperor WSA, Mika Espinosa, George Hage, Pratik Bandari, Aro Dare, Von Joseph, Derija Skerte, Jackson Early, Carl Stephen Bernadal, Tank Bailey, Gareth Hashimoto, SPT Mighty, Stephen Madison, Homelike Drop, Fazli Topadar, Nasir, Mam Wang Min, Vasto Lord, Martin Ramos, Marl Barsha, Aditya Vyas, Andrew Liu, Ralph Ignacio, Fawaz Zala, Chris Nelson, Karen, Mark Charlie Els, Hansel Ortega, Karam Faraj, Yellow Wally, Efrain Hernandez, Luca Gaming WTF, William Locke, thank you so much for helping out. I'll see you guys in the next video.